Hi, Dr. Chris Baker here. You know, today I've been thinking about pediatric dentists. As a pediatric dentist, we go into our specialty thinking that we're going to care for children. And what more preventive a specialty is there than pediatric dentistry? Because we're dealing with a child who has the least ravages of dental diseases in their mouth, the least ravages in most cases of even medical diseases, although some of course are already involved in medical problems. But we're starting with a, a very clean slate in a very precious little child that we want to help. And we want to help through prevention, probably in our heart of hearts, more than through restorative. But pediatric dentistry has become a specialty that focuses, even in training, on restoring a child's mouth. It has focused way too far, I think, on restoring dental decay, um, what we call caries as a disease, on putting in um, space maintainers because we've had to extract or the teeth have been decayed away. These things are restoring, they're not preventing. Well, I guess a space maintainer, you could argue, is preventing more space loss. But in the reality, it's unfortunate that we are focused on fixing and not on preventing. Why? Well, number one, we've talked about how insurance companies and, and the government got into the mix and they are skimming off the money. There's no money for prevention. You're in practice to make a living. You went into practice to earn a living and support yourself and your family. And all of a sudden you discover that if you're doing very much talking, your time is not being reimbursed. So you hire hygienists or assistants who can do the talking. But again, if you spend too much time doing that, or if they do, your time is not being reimbursed. So you are now taking further away from the potential living that you set out to make. There is a way to make a good living and to take good care of children and focus back on prevention. And while that's not the topic of my thoughts today, it basically is get out of the insurance and government game. Now that sounds crazy to most pediatric dentists because most of the pediatric dentists that today that are in practice have a high level of Medicaid in their practice. And you say, well, I'm making good money on that. You're working yourself to death and making some money, but are you preventing? Or are you treating? Is it health care or is it disease fixing? Think about it. What do you really want to be doing? There is life after the OR. That's another thing. You're not interacting with the patients in the OR or the parents while you're in the OR. And you're spending a great bit of your time in the operating room. And maybe that's what you want to do. But most people who go into pediatric dentistry don't have that surgeon mentality um, with whom I work, many surgeons with whom I worked back in my uh, nursing days, the surgeon mentality is I don't want to interact. I, w I want to do my skill. I want to do my, my art. I want to take care of what I'm doing and then I want to leave and I want the nurses to talk to the patients. So that's not a typical pediatric dentist. Think about what you're doing. Think about if you have evolved into a place that you really aren't having as good a time as you could. Are you focused on, I've got to make a living? Of course you should be, but is there a better way to do it? Is there life after the operating room? Is there life after restorative, sitting at the chair, fixing, 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 fixing teeth? Yes, there is. There are things in growth and development that you can address orthodontically, orthopedically. There's clearing the path of eruption that truly prevents a lot of the complexities of the occlusion and of the problems with malocclusions. There are so many areas that you can get into and all of these can be looked at outside the insurance game. They can be looked at without the overlay of insurance and government constricting and telling you what you can and can't do. And I put that in quotes because you can by law practice the way you want to practice, but you just definitely have to make a living doing it. This is not missionary work. Your missionary work is separate and you can do that whenever you want, but in your practice, it shouldn't be. So I guess my thoughts today are, how are you going to proceed in your future? Are you going to continue to do a lot of restorative, to do a lot of operating room? And if that makes you happy, 
go for it. Um, on the other hand, are you going to look for ways to do what you do, to take good care of children, to interact and be the pediatric dentist that is the one they love because of that communication and because of those relationships? How are you going to continue in your future? How are you going to make your practice look and feel? And how are you going to stay happy while you're earning a good living? Those are the questions for today's thoughts. Have at it. Think about it. We talk about this in Element Seminars. We'd love to have you join us. Give me a holler, email, go to the website, loveandorthodontics.com. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Signing off.